Hey everyone, welcome back to another Gem Room video. I'm here with Michael as always, and this week we have Lapis's room, who was done by Luna. Hello. So Luna, what made you want to do Lapis? Um, well, Lapis is such a magical character in general, so it's like, who would not want to do Lapis? But um, I think in general, the whole room idea is really cool anyway, to like, um, just the whole kind of imagination of it all. So I think even if it wasn't Lapis, I think any character would be amazing to do. <laughs> So I noticed that you have a ton of references to things that Lapis loves in this room. Could you kind of go into detail about all these little tidbits? Um, yes, I, I wanted to include a lot of meat mops as um, Lapis has kind of developed so much as a character in the respect. Um, she's kind of now more chilled and laid back. And I, I really like this. And like even like in the episode Hit the Diamond, um, you see the hat and the shoes and <laughs> you see like the baseball bat in um, the bubble. And um, I, I think uh, it, it's just like, it's just so fun putting little Easter eggs in and such. But um, I think it really kind of like the meat mops, especially kind of sum up Lapis's character in general, since she's changed from like the first seasons and such. So I'm not sure if the audience can see this yet, but there seems to be some stuff on the stairs. Um, I think some of them are like leaves, but I see like a pair of shoes um, yes. and like a rainbow looking type thing. Or can you explain what those are? I can't um, the It's actually books because you see in, I think it was Gem Harvest and oh, um, the kindergarten episode mm -hmm. when um, she was like just reading a book in the background and then like, and then like, Paradox Bubble appeared behind her. And so I thought it'd be quite cute to add books because I can just imagine Lapis liking books ever since <laughs> that, really. Well, nice little detail. <laughs> Thanks. So I was wondering, what is this room to Lapis? Is this just a place to relax or something else? Um, yeah, mostly to relax. But I kind of, again, I wanted this magical aspect. I wanted like the stairs to like represent the sky and I was originally like planning to do like um, more of a sea kind of thing, but then thinking that Lapis's time in the ocean wasn't a very good experience, as we know. Um, and when we saw her in um, oh, the episode where, sorry, I forgot what it's called, Same Old World, um, mm. when she was like flying with Stephen and she was really kind of enjoying her time. So it's kind of like, I can imagine it like she just like goes there to like fly around wherever she wants and kind of like a, a bit like Steven's room in that respect where it's just kind of high and you can do what you like in the respect of limitless kind of thing. But yeah, I wanted the steps to kind of like um, to symbolize that almost. Cool. So do you have like any head cannons um, as far as like what this room can do magically speaking? Um, uh, I never really thought of that really, but, um, I can just imagine her, like, chilling out in there and, I don't know, um, reading books and whatever. <laughs> so I noticed that there is a lot of open space and you did manage to put a ton of stuff in there, but was there anything that you wanted to put in the room that just didn't fit or didn't work or you didn't have maybe space um, for? It? Yes, yeah. actually, in the, um, speed drawing you see... On the side, I'm taking reference from a sketch I first of all did, and I did like a couple of sketches. And um, you kind of see like, well, there, there were things like, um, I wanted like the pillars to look a bit more broken in. I kind of ironically wanted it to look a bit like the, I took a lot of inspiration from like the galaxy warp and the ruins from the um, moon goddess statue episode from the very beginning. Mm. Um, just because of the whole water and I don't, I don't know the colors and everything and um i originally wanted to like do a deck chair and um <laughs> and like a television with camp pining hearts on but then um i kind of thought that might be not because i've kind of made the room look serene um with all the colors and such i kind of wanted to keep that um 
just this kind of glowy effect and to keep it quite, quite clean, if that makes sense. Mm. So yeah, I kind of, and I also wanted to make the steps look all crumbly and broken, um, but um, I don't really have enough time for that, so I just <laughs> left it. <laughs> Yeah, hopefully Lapis has uh, moved past being crumbly and broken. <laughs> yeah. Um, so tell us about a bit about the artistic process, because I like how like the sky is very reminiscent to uh, Ocean Gem, where she was like up in the sky and in, uh, in space. It, it, it seems very accurate to the show. So tell yes. us a little bit about how you uh, match that. Yeah, I was very, again, inspired by that scene. Um, I, well... I, I do vector artwork, so I use the pen tool on Photoshop, and um, and I just use like loads of gradients and again the color scheme I kind of took from that that particular episode from Ocean Gem, and um, yeah I love that scene. Um, the whole room actually was I wanted again for the magical aspect, I wanted it to look almost dreamlike. And I actually, before I did this, I looked in my dream journal and to find some dreams which kind of really reminded me of Lapis because I can wow. really relate to Lapis and respect that, I don't know, I have dreams and I just like, I dream that I'm flying and stuff and that's like, uh, I don't know, that's why I love Lapis. But um, And I took one dream in particular where I was just like floating in the air and... Um, I think, uh, yeah, it's just, um, and it's, it's always kind of hard to like explain dreams. So I think like yeah. putting it in a picture is kind of a kind of fun way to kind of express it in a way. Wow. That's crazy. And cool. so, yeah. And also, um, with the color scheme, I tend to kind of work with, um, again, it's very kind of blue, purpley and, um, aqua. So the colors are very, almost like, very, um, oh, not much color apart from in the blue spectrum kind of thing. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love that you keep a dream journal on that and then you were able to use that as inspiration. Uh, so <laughs> perhaps moving on to some stuff about you personally, uh, do you have a personal favorite gem in the show? Um, yes, I do. And... I, although I really love Lapis, um, I think um, as a character, she's not my favourite because I kind of like her more with Peridot. So I kind of think they depend on each other mm. for me to like Lapis. So I actually, um, I think my favourite has to be Pearl because I can kind of like, I love her, um, the way how she kind of looks up to Rose and looks up to Stephen in a way and... And especially like Rose's scabbard, um, uh, yes. <laughs> um, so I think I'll have to say Pearl. <laughs> so many people love Pearl. I didn't know uh, she had this big of fan base. Yeah. Uh, I, I think with me, with me, it's just the fact that I can relate to that, um, mm. to that feeling of looking up to someone. And a lot of her songs are very kind of um, meaningful to me. Yeah. Her, the lyrics and such. So kind of uh, writing off that, do you have any favorite episodes? Um, oh, probably, um, well, Ocean Gem is, again, the whole dreamlike kind of feeling. Um, and also, again, Rose's Scabbard, but also, um, oh, I forgot what the episode's called, but it's the one where S Stephen first discovers his room and... Um, the whole feeling of the city being all creepy. Yeah, I just yeah. love that episode. <laughs> yes, that's the one. <laughs> uh, so is there any social media of yours that people should check out or follow if they want to see more of your artwork? Um, yep, I have a DeviantArt account. That's what I use most. Um, and I've recently started Tumblr. Um, I don't have many followers on there, so... <laughs> Um, and I have a YouTube as well. Go so. follow the Tumblr. <laughs> yeah, I've kind of like just discovered it and I'm like just like finding loads of Steven Universe art and I'm just like, oh yes, so much Steven oh, Universe. Wow. You're late. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I'm having fun with that. 
So do you take any uh, commissions? Um, I, I have, I've taken a couple in the past. I don't really like promote it, but I would happily take commissions if anyone were interested. Awesome. Um, yeah, I, I'm not really known for doing much um, Steven Universe art digitally, but I hope to start doing more soon, which will be fun. Sweet. Besides Steven art, do you do any other fan art? Um, yeah, I'm mostly known for being in the My Little Pony fandom, which um, I do like animations and animatics on my DeviantArt. And um, yeah, I, I do quite a lot of, again, vectoring kind of style pictures, which is how I was inspired to do that to begin with. So yeah. Awesome. <laughs> but, um, I also, um, uh, I love loads of other cartoons. It's just that, um, I don't really put up the pictures because no one ever really notices them. Like I, I love Adventure Time and I love um, Gravity Falls and Star vs. Forces of Evil. Yeah. By the way, I love your um, fan theory behind Toffee on that one. No, that's... <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so I'm always up for like experimenting with new cartoons and stuff if anyone were interested in like commissions for yeah. anything different. Cool, cool. Um, thank you so much, Luna, for joining us with this, uh, making this gem room for us. Uh, she is actually going to be Yellow Diamond in our upcoming comic dub series. So mm. when that comes out, you'll get to see her a couple of times in there and it's going to be awesome. <laughs> so like I said before, uh, thank you for joining us and we'll see you next week with another gem room. Later. <laughs>